What's going on over only sports back with another video and in this video I'm going to be doing my first New York Giants draft content video of the 2023 season this one of course relating to the 2023 NFL draft um, you know but they're really just the Giants have been so good that we haven't been talking about the draft for once you know by December you know no no Giants fan or no Giants content creator really is talking much about the draft except for the ones that think that Daniel Jones won't be back with the team who you know, I respect the opinion. I just really disagree with it. I think Daniel Jones will and should be back. If you saw my tweet this morning, I talked about Dable and Jones, but that's besides the fact. In this video, I'm going to be doing my 12 favorite New York Giants um, draft prospects for 2023. I made a video last year, um, you know, on this topic. I believe I had 15 names um, last season, um, you know, and you know, they were my favorites, you know, and, and this isn't going to be in any order. Um, and, you know, the Giants, hopefully they end up with a bunch of these guys, but they might not even end up with one. You know, I'm not making any predictions here in this video. I'm going to be just talking about um, each player a little bit and what I like about them as they are my favorite. Um, and, you know, and obviously I didn't put edge rushers here because, one of my favorite players in the draft is an edge rusher, of course, Will Anderson out of Alabama, but the Giants aren't going to be drafting an edge rush, rusher, so, you know, obviously, I'm not going to really get into that. Same with Paris Johnson. I really like him, um, the offensive tackle. The Giants just aren't going to draft a tackle or an edge, at least not in the first two, three rounds, um, you know, so I'm keeping it realistic, but I am going to be talking about my favorites, and right off the hop, all these guys belong under the wide receiver, cornerback, safety, linebacker, or interior offensive line category. So there's five different positions. I, you know, obviously the safety position is in a huge need, you know, but obviously under the circumstances that Julian Love does leave, you know, it, it leaves at least an option, you know, and, and maybe even Love can shift to cornerback or one of these safeties potentially could shift to cornerback, but it's a, it's an option. You know, so let's get right into it. And the first player I want to talk about is Quentin Johnson, the wide receiver out of TCU, big body, 6'4", 215. He's projected to go in the top 10, but he could fall back a bit. You know, obviously it's it's too soon and early to really say exactly where these guys are going to go. I would think the Giants are picking somewhere around, um, you know, that 18 range potentially, um, you know, and who knows, maybe Johnson falls back or the Giants move up to get him. But Trading up to get a wide receiver is risky, but a guy like Quinton Johnson is very, very skilled, and I think the Giants need a wide receiver early in this year's draft. I'm not going to look too much into, you know, where these guys are going to be drafted. You know, I'll just, you know, talk about the round that they're projected to go in. But in terms of Quinton Johnson, big body, 6'4", 215. He's caught 53 passes, um, you know, this season. Of course, with TCU, 903 yards, five touchdowns. Um, you know, his average yards per catch is 17. That is big. He's a big play guy. You know, he's obviously ranked the number one, you know, right now the, the number one wide receiver in the class for a reason. I really like Quinton Johnson and, um, you know, I, I would really like him as a fit for the New York Giants. The next guy I like is Kelly Ringo, um, the cornerback out of Georgia. I really, really like Kelly Ringo. Um, he's, Project again right now the top corner in the class he would have to be a first round pick um you know he's six two two oh five but you never know sometimes you know maybe these guys fall back you never know but I really like Ringo obviously coming out of that Georgia defense how could you not like a guy out of that Georgia defense um you know with Jalen Carter in this draft class of course um Kelly Ringo you know they they ha they've had the best defense in the country for some time now. Um, you know, so Ringo, obviously big part to that defense, the most, probably the most important part of that secondary, um, 36 tackles, six pass defended, two interceptions. He is a big time guy. And I think, you know, like the wide receiver, I think for the giants, the biggest thing is going to be finding a wide receiver and a cornerback. I think those are probably right now the two biggest needs on this team, you know, outside of the interior offensive line, but you could argue, I would think those are clearly the top three biggest needs. You know, in my opinion, corner and receiver are the are the 
two biggest, you know, um, to fill in that secondary and obviously get Daniel Jones some weapons. And I think, you know, that you can find a guard or a center, you know, yeah, you can find them in round three, but even you, you could probably even find a guy for somewhat cheap, a veteran in the free agent market, you know, who's kind of a stopgap. Um, but you know, in the, in the cornerback and wide receiver market, you're looking for a long-term guy. And, and I really like Kelly Ringo out of Georgia. He's a, you know, he's not huge, but he is a very physical guy at 205 pounds for a corner. That is, it's a pretty good size. Um, you know, in six, two, obviously is some pretty good size at the cornerback spot, but I really, really like Kelly Ringo, um, out of that Georgia defense. Another wide receiver, this one out of USC, Jordan Addison, you know, obviously four inches smaller then um Quinn Johnson and he's also he also weighs 40 pounds less 6 feet 175 59 receptions this year for 107 or sorry 875 yards eight touchdowns um you know he's also used not a lot but he gets a few rushing touches here and there um you know I really like Jordan Addison um, you know out of the USC again another guy that would help fix the wide receiving core and you know get Daniel Jones a weapon um so Jordan Addison's a really likable guy and then for me he might be my favorite wide receiver just because where he's projected to go is so near where the Giants are picking Jackson Smith Najiba um out of Ohio State six feet 200 pounds um you know he is you know he is very very good so he's dealt with some injuries he's only played three games this year you know but looking at last year 13 games played he had 1600 over 1600 yards you know he's no joke 95 catches last year in 13 games um you know he is he is something else he is very very good and i really like him um you know he's solid and he I don't even know who he reminds me of, but he would just be such a big upgrade for the Giants at that wide receiver spot. Really, anybody would be here, um, you know, but I, I think I think he would make a lot of sense for the Giants. And I think for the Giants, you know, in terms of, you know, what they do in the first and second round, I think, wide, you know, they're going to draft a wide receiver in the first two rounds, I, in, in my opinion. I think they have to, and I think they will. Um, you know, it's just a matter of what they'll do with that other pick, you know, whether it's in the first or second round, whether they go cornerback, whether they go even linebacker, whether they go with the, you know, to patch up that offensive line, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what the Giants do do there. But in my opinion, I think they should go corner and wide receiver, but I'll have a ton more of draft content, you know, so stay tuned for all of that. But Jackson Smith and the Jiba is another guy I really like. And then of course, um, the Alabama safety, Brian Branch, I really, really like him, um, again, at, at that safety spot, maybe him or Julian Love could shift over to the corner spot, who knows, but getting versatile guys is really important, um, you know, and he, he's six foot, 195, um, two sacks, 80 tackles, seven pass defended, an interception this year, he could do it all, um, you know, and then Jordan Battle as well, he would be a guy probably to go, you know, I would say, you know, probably in that second round range, but he's that other safety from Alabama. Those, these two are really, really good. They're really good together. The Giants won't end up with both, but that would be something else if they did. But I really like both those Alabama safeties. Trenton Simpson is another really key name. Linebacker out of Clemson. This guy's a big physical guy. He's projected to go back into the first round. Um... You know, I've really liked him for quite some time. 6'3", 225, big guy, plays really physical game, 72 tackles, um, two and a half sacks, three pass defended, two forced fumbles. He is a really, really good player. Um, you know, I really like him. Again, the Giants need help at that linebacker spot. There's no question about it. You know, they, there, there is a big need there, and we probably even need two. You know, we don't know what Darian Beavers is going to be, but he looked promising in, in the short time we saw him in training camp in the preseason, you know, but the Giants are going to need a linebacker at some point here in this draft. I don't know if it's early or late, you know, I, I don't know, but, you know, the Giants have so many needs that I think where, in, in terms of where they pick these guys, I think, you know, really doesn't matter. And I think, I believe the Giants, uh, I think in the top uh, 100 picks, I think they have four picks. I would expect the Giants to take one wide receiver, 
one cornerback, a linebacker, and an interior offensive lineman with those four picks. I don't know the order. That is my prediction. I think they do that. Um, you know, with those top probably a hundred pit. You know, probably be in the top a hundred to a hundred and two um, because that third round compensatory pick. But yeah, I I really really do like Trenton Simpson, another linebacker that I really like as well. Is you know Noah Sewell. Um, these guys are you know pretty close in terms of the the you know range of where they're going to get drafted. Noah Sewell is the linebacker out of Oregon, six three two fifty one, big guy again. Um, fifty six tackles, a sack and a half, three pass defending interception this year. Um, you know he could drop back in coverage. Um, you know he can he can do quite a bit. You know and and like I said, keeping. You know, getting versatile guys. Dable and Shane really like versatile guys, as do I, because I like guys that'll be able to, you know, linebackers that could drop back in coverage or, you know, you you know, be able to play in Wink's exotic um, system and you know go rush the quarterback or you know just stay in the middle of that field. You know, guys that could do all of that. I really like. I really value. You know, but who am I? I? I mean, I think Shane and Dable like the same type of guys. You know, so. I really like Trent Simpson and Noah Sewell. And then another linebacker I really like, the last linebacker on the list is Henry Tuoto, um, the linebacker from Alabama, 6'2", 225, 90 tackles, 2.5 sacks. He's not the type of guy, though, that'll drop back in coverage. Um, you know, he, he's more of a at-the-line type of linebacker, staying in the middle, um, you know, so... You know, but all three of these linebackers would really, really be key and help the Giants as they do need a linebacker. And like I said, I think the Giants take in those top four picks a wide receiver, corner, linebacker, and interior offensive lineman in any order. Another corner I really like is Ellie Ricks. Um, he's projected mid to late second round. Um, you know, I really do like him as a second round cornerback option. Um, very, very good player. Again, from that Alabama defense. Um, you know, they have that good secondary with Brian Branch, Jordan Battle, and of course, um, L. I. Ricks, um, 6'2", 200 pounds, seven tackles, four passes defended on the year. Um, you know, he, he, he hasn't played a whole lot though. Um, you know, this year he, he still played eight games, but it just seems like he hasn't had the type of production that really he's had in past years, especially 2020, where he had five passes defended, four interceptions, and two pick six. Um, you know, he he's he he is really good though. You, you, he's a tough guy to to you know make catches on. He's really really good. Um, you know, and and I I would really like him as a solid um, cornerback option in the second round. Um, he is probably my, you know, in terms of my favorites, I'm not saying I would take him over some of the other corners in the first round, but him and, uh, Ringo out of, out of Georgia, they're my two favorite cornerbacks in this draft and they come from big schools with good defenses, good coaches, you know, and, and I think that that would be a solid start and, you know, not an easy shift, but a pretty, um, you know, smooth shift into the NFL for these guys, um, and then, of course, I have two interior offensive linemen, Jarrett Patterson and Osiris Torrance. Um, Patterson from Notre Dame, he's probably a third-round option. And then in the back end of the first round, um, Torrance out of Florida. Um, you know, obviously both guys that could patch up that interior offensive line. Um, you know, and, and that that's, again, a big need. Torrance, 6'5", 350. He is huge. Of course, he is the highest ranked interior offensive lineman, the um, Florida Gator. Um, you know, he's a big, big guy. Um, obviously, you see that size that he has. Um, and then, um, you know, Patterson, 6'4", 305 pounds out of Notre Dame. Um, the fourth ranked um, interior offensive lineman, according to Tankathon. It's not the best um, but you know, it, it is pretty accurate. Um, you know, so these are my top 12 favorites. You know, I'm sorry. I, you know, rambled for so long. This video is, is going to be a bit of a longer one, but, um, you know, thank you for watching it. You know, these are, like I said, my 12 favorite and one prediction I will make that I'm actually going to go put on on Twitter is with the four first four picks that the giants have, you know, in the top one Oh two, it has to be in the top one Oh two is an interior offensive lineman, a cornerback, a wide receiver, and a linebacker in any order. Obviously, it's very early to say, but I do 
Um, think that those are the four biggest needs on this New York Giants football team. And I think with the first four picks, they will take one of each position. That's my guess. Um, you know, obviously, maybe it's a uh, you know bold prediction, but that is my prediction. You guys let me know, though, down below in the comment section your thoughts on these 12 guys. What do you think about them? Um, who do you like best? Who do you like least? Hopefully, the Giants end up with a couple of them hopefully i wish they would end up with all of them but it's not realistic hopefully they end up with a few you know and you guys let me know your favorites um whether it's on this list or off this list let me know that good stuff down in the comment section and as always please leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new see you guys on the next video and as always let's go giants